Oh my god, there's a lot of people joining. Hey everyone, how's it going? <laughs> I'm uh, currently just making some coffee, so I'm uh, semi-AFK right now, but I'm getting ready for stream. How's everyone going? Hey, hey, my Dargo. Hey, Epic Wood. Hey, the Queena. How's it going? Thanks for the follow, the Queena. How's everyone doing today? How's Eidolon? How's the how's life? Hey, Boo. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Anyways, I'm going to go check on my coffee. I'll be right back.
All right. Hello, everyone. How's it going today? Let's go ahead and disable the, the that. <clears throat> okay, who did I miss? Who did I miss? I heard some notifications come in. I think it was the Queen was the last one. Thanks, Boo. Thanks, Spady. Thanks, Reiki. For the follow, everyone. Appreciate it. Oh, no. I'm falling ovals. With the hexagon. Come on, there we go. Now I can destroy. I'm good. What about you? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good, chat. Thanks, Zernoan. Zernoan for the fall. Need a break from Overwatch anyways. Calm the nerves. Overwatch anyways. And I've never played Overwatch before. Weird to say, but I've never played Overwatch before. But how's it going? Hey, Hour. How's it going? Doing pretty good, everyone. Thanks for thanks for thanks for asking. Man, I forgot how calming crystal farm killing is, or like crystal mob killing is. Everything just kind of spews out. I like it. I just delete that notification there. I'm going to adjust chat real quick. Fiag Newtons. Fig Newtons. How's it going? My dude, what's going on? It's not me. <laughs> Welcome to the chat, everyone. I see a lot of first messages here. Thanks for the stopping. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Chris Farming at Pots with Bubos. I feel like I get much more. Um, I mean, you shouldn't. <laughs> Unless you manage to kill things like five times as much. What's that in your inventory? First page, top left slot. This? Oh, it's Royal Fabric. Uh, that's from the World 6 mob. Mini Chief Spirits. I just have it lingering in there. Let me turn on the music real quick. I know, I just saw the guild tag. <laughs> yeah, I am part of his guild. No worries. I'm pretty sure Griffey has the right to copyright that at this at this venture. I feel like he's popular enough in the Eidolon community to uh, have his own catchphrase that's specific to him. <laughs> he's got that, like, a, like the, the raspiness to his voice, like, my dudes, what's going on, you know? I feel like he, uh, he, like, practices a lot, like, before he jumps on the stream. Like, he just, I don't know, like, somehow deepens his voice even more just to say that every 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 start of the stream. Anyways, <clears throat> his pots are dropping more money than my World 6 crystals. Um, actually, I wonder how much money I'm actually getting from pots. I'm getting dread low coins, basically. Well, let's see what the crystals actually drop. Crystals are dropping Starfire. That's pretty good. I got like 200 million Gmush. I think I'm like 30 billion or something like that. Also, that reminds me, I uh, am very, I've been very, very bad today about checking my 20 minute traps, as you can tell. 
Do, do, do. Let's go back. Six thirty eight billion G mush. Well, listen, I'm not I'm not not there yet. Hey Morty, how's it going? Twenty minutes of active DK farming, world six only gives you like one dreadlock. I have a lots of G mush. Also I'm running Jawbreaker prayer. Um Ooh, that reminds me, I don't need Rucksack anymore. But I'm also activating, so it doesn't matter. It's fine. Anyways. Jewish farming is a never-ending endeavor. You can always go higher. Yeah, no, exactly. Hey, Niyoshi, how's it going? Hey, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, Jewish farming is always... It's, it's an infinite endeavor. Obviously, I'm not there yet for the Equinox stream. But uh, we're we're going, we're trying. Hey, Epic! Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Getting the new blue coin per one mini chief. Yeah, I mean, well, if you if you have six hundred and forty billion G mush, I imagine you're getting it like every kill. Yeah. You are what? What is that? Like thirty times more G mush kills than I am right now, or something? What are you working on right now? I am trying to green stack. Um. The potions. I'm trying to finally grind out the rest of my uh, green stacks for the Equinox stream. Potions and food. I believe I still have some food. Yeah. Some of the food I still have yet to green stack, so I'm working on that right now. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of endgame uh, players that have Really high G mush kills. It's not not that surprising. Can you not? My cat is trying to eat my hoodie strings right now. Just laying in my lap. All right, chat. I uh, have some things to work on today. It's going to be somewhat short stream compared to the previous week where I did five hour streams each. Uh, today's just probably going to be like a two, three, two, two hour stream or so. Yeah, as you know, I feel like that's pretty common. I mean, me, my adventure with Eidolon, I think I started playing about like a... I technically started playing like a year or two years ago, but I didn't return to the game until July of last year. Uh, that's when I really started playing. That's when I exited World 1 and started playing. Hey, Rusty, how's it going? Oh, Rusty, by the way, I saw your post in the Eidolon accounts, and I give you a little uh, little pointer. As a, I, I, skipped the, uh, <laughs> I skipped the normal venture of people, uh, and I... Posted something about you there. Hey, Joe Mandia, what's up? Give you just some quick advice. Nothing special or anything. Mm -hmm. With more content, more... Yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. With World 6, it was crazy. Um, I know people were very easily able to get uh, like 20 million kills per hour uh, pre-World 6. So that kind of skyrocketed when World 6 hit. Yeah, agreed. That reminds me. Okay, so we have some kind of maintenance stuff I haven't done yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Also, my Obel page is filling up very fast because I have a lot of drop rate. So I need to take these off my filter now. Previously, I was pushing, uh, pushing some stuff. So I was missing the Obels, uh, the defense Obels for... Um, for slab. So I got that out of the way. I got all the uh, all the ovals there. So let's take these off my filter. Oh, come on. Let's get rid of silver luck. Let's get rid of silver agi. Silver wisdom. Gold luck. Bronze oval defense. And I think we're good there. Did I see drop? I don't think I filled it out drop. There we go. Cool. <clears throat> Can I see your obols real quick? Sure. Like family page or personal? I guess here's all my here's the personal ones. Let me know you want me to switch. Is it bad? I only found that you can sample Equinox materials today. <laughs> oh, Spadey. 
Uh, I am only at 14 mil per one hour. I don't know what I'm missing. Uh, for Gmush kills, I mean, there's a variety of things you could try to push. Um, I would probably recommend, yeah, getting... Uh, trying to bump up your multi-kill per tier. Uh, trying to bump up AFK gains. Um, getting more damage. Uh, getting more kill per kill. Getting mob respawn rate, I don't know. Fighting AFK gain rate. Uh, having good cards, it's a good one. Doing it on ES. Any particular reason for DK over ES that's Sandy Pots? Um, yes, because the stuff I'm farming, well, I'm not farming the glass shards. If I was farming glass shards, I'd be doing it on ES. Uh, I'm farming the... Um, I'm farming the potions here, uh, which are in the bags, so DK is generally better for that. The reason I'm doing it at pots as opposed to sandcastles or snellbees is because I also want glass shards. So the glass shards are secondary to why I'm farming sandy pots, but yeah. I don't know, Magikarp. Maybe he has a lot of damage. What's my multi kill right now on, uh, actually? Let's go to my ES since he's farming. I'm at 47. <laughs> 47 tiers. I would filter the base material. Yeah, I probably am going to. Probably not a bad idea since I don't need all that much. But also, I do have a rucksack on, so it's not that big of a problem for me. Because I mean, my stacks right now are three, three, uh, 3 million. <laughs> Oh, it shows nothing after 52? That's crazy. Is it like integer overflow or something? Hey, girl. What are you doing? Hey. Sorry, again, cat in my lap. Cat in the hat. <clears throat> okay, I was going to look at my toolbox and see what I want to spend my atoms on today. Pet channel, second best channel in Discord. Yeah, agreed. Someone suggested I make that, and I, re I uh, kind of regret not having made it sooner. Also, uh, for the longest time, it was invisible to most people uh, because it was one of the default channels. So, welcome. There's so many pets in there. I'm so excited people are actually using it. <laughs> A right, quick plug: If you're not part of the Discord, uh, you can go ahead and click on uh, click on that link and join the Discord. Um, just remember to accept the rules. You know, go ahead and post there if you like. You can post your uh, pet pet pics and stuff. Anyways, let's swap over to the desktop view real quick. You have to post at least 50 pet pics a day or you're banned. I'm going to have to ban myself. I don't have that many pet pics. All right. Eidolon's going to go away for just a sec so I can look at what I need to... Need to bubble upgrade. Let me check something, actually. Maybe I don't need to do that. Almost. We're almost there.
Try that. Is that good enough? Perfect. I guess Molten Logo. I don't know. That doesn't really give me anything. Let's upgrade Stafford. I can't do. Brew Speed. I can do. Cool. Let's stick with that. I think. I wonder actually if I take off the uh, lab, the lab thing. Wonder if I can actually Adam Carpenter yet. I forgot about that. So it may have wasted some atoms, but that's okay. Did that go down? Oh yeah, because I upgraded, upgraded the cost reduction, I think. Ninety-two point one. Oh, so close. Tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be able to. Okay. Now the last 10 atoms, or 14 atoms I have, what do I do, what do I do? What is a cool thing to start upgrading for now? It's not at 90%. I could do giant mobs. Library checkout, maybe. Levels of big P. Big P is always good. Oh, duh. There you go. This should be at 90% now. Well, level 350 is 90%. Oh, I also unlocked the, the, the next floor. I think, I don't know. I kind of want to upgrade charms. So I'm kind of conflicted. Um, I think I probably should upgrade charms and try to go back and upgrade them. Try to get more sneaking out of my characters because right now they're like 40, 30, 30 and 50 detection rate, which is like really bad. But I'm getting more jade on this floor than I am on the one below it, even with that detection rate. So... It's more worth it for me to stay here than it is to not. Because <laughs> normally it takes me like two days or like a day and a half to get to 45Q, but it took me 12 hours to get here on this floor. So I think I'm going to do that. Spend my, spend my points like that. To push into floor 10, do I probably need better charms? Should I adopt a main support strategy? Um, I mean, that's kind of what I did, Flash. Uh, when you push floor... Fuck, what's floor 10? Hold on. This is 3, 6, 9... This is the pillow one? Well, I'll be, um, Yeah, try to get lotus flowers. I mean, the comp that I did was... Um, was pretty much just uh, Veil... Lotus flower, veil, lotus flower, veil, lotus flower. But yeah. In greatly increased. Yeah, no, I agree. So I'm, yeah, definitely. That's why I pushed up the charms up. But yeah, definitely the 11th. So you have, you're getting rosaries right now? Or are you trying to get rosaries? I mean, if you're, if you're on the floor to get rosaries, I'd try to get that. Uh, But yeah, also the lotus flowers are pretty good. Need better lotus. So what you can do is you can stack the rosary and veil. These multiply with each other for stealth. So you can really juice out your stealth rate to make your characters really hard to detect on that floor by combining stealth and rosary. And then having like probably like one or two 
on uh, lotus flowers if you absolutely need to. But early on, that shouldn't be too much of a problem, the detection. Yeah, I do have three people right now kind of muling. Veil Rosary is better than Double Rosary. Yeah, because Double Rosary ad is additive stacking. Veil and Rosary, it multiplies uh, their effects together. So if I I can show you what that, what that looks like. So you can see this character's stealth is at 2.3 billion right now. My first character. His gear, he has a Veil and Rosary. If I just replace with two Rosaries, 342 million. So yeah. You throw out your old veils, we'll get back to veil farming. <laughs> do, 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 do. Let me keep your veils. Yeah, veils are pretty good still. I think I missed Baba Yaga. Oops. Correct, Vert. Correct. GK Ver. Ooh, I need to check World 6 by farming. See how that's going. Ah, perfect timing. 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm not going to take it. I need OG chance. Um, Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll wait. Uh, I got my summoning to do. So that's something we can do right now. Now that I'm here. <clears throat> uh, do I do blue or do I do purple? What do you guys think? Blue or purple? Do, 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 do. Let me upgrade stuff actually. Ah, I get more familiars. I have three Tonkas. Is that right? I have three Tonkas. <laughs> Is that visual? Go for blue, I guess. I need something how I win. I've been going bot for days now. Yeah, you, you kind of hit a brick wall with summoning uh, where you just take days of L's, straight L's. Try to get some damage going, I guess. HP, because why not? Some mana here, so get some more HP. Honestly, don't know what I'm upgrading. I'm just kind of just kind of going for it. That's good. <laughs> it's all about that bloomy RNG, and I th I feel like bloomies are bait. Go for blue. All right, let's go, guys. I think we are, we are sad already. Wait. Oh no, I messed up. Wait, come on, push through. Yes. That was like, that was the, oh, that was like the last possible push that could have been. <laughs> Two times construction speed. Hold on. All right, so it's, hold on, hold on. I'm at 1.2 bill right now. Let's cloud save. Two point, almost three billion construction. That is crazy. I found this on the web. Uh, series also. Uh, 
Are those rewards are randomized? No, I, they are static. So they are the same rewards. Uh, the values of them differ depending on the bonuses that you have. Uh, so if you have, um, what is it called? Uh, there's a pristine charm that gives you like summoning bonuses or something. So yeah, the value will be different because I have that and you may not have that. Fuck, that's bad RNG. Or is it? Yeah, it's bad RNG. Or is it? Or is it? Bad RNG. Oh no, I got bloomies. That's not all bad. Come on, keep dodging. <laughs> Fucked up. You're jelly. He's jelly milk. It's jam or marmalade. Well. Come on. Oh my god. I didn't expect a jeweled bloomy there. Yeah, alright. I'll just let that one end. <clears throat> That's sad. Totally up to skill. Exactly. This is a skill based mechanic. I want I want the bops because I know the bops give you uh I think skill efficiency. So I will spend some gems on this. Three more, we're refreshing. Pay to win. <laughs> These are all free gems that I got from killing bosses. Getting bad, uh, bad specials. Keep getting fucking Tonkas. I don't want Tonkas. That would have been good if I didn't get Tonkas. Tonkas. Any tips for my golden orb number? You usually can't go over 150 to 180 with skill level. Um, the orb of remembrance? Uh, just kill things faster. Uh, I mean, getting a, uh, getting your the knight thing that shoots left and right. Yeah, Tonkas are cool mid-game. Uh, uh, getting the things that shoot out left and right are uh, kind of what you want for getting high orb, orb, orb value. The statue thing for DK. Can't remember what that thing's called. That's some terrible RNG where they all spawned at the bottom there. That's very unfortunate. Regalus? I don't think, yeah. This is probably, wait, 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 wait. No. That was cool for a second, but. Come on, dodge, push it back. There's just, nah, there's no way. Let that die. Nightly Disciple, that's the one. All right. Ooh, a seven? Oh, fuck. This, this, this was, this was almost, this was almost a win. This was, this was almost a win. That was, uh, that was it for that? Okay, well, we got one. I'm not going to spend more gems. Um, I got pretty much everything that I wanted. Uh, I mean, if you had a Vrumby or two, yeah, if I had a Vrumby, that would have been probably it. Without cards, level 250. Ne uh, Niyoshi, do you have um, the V-Man enhancement for a Knightly Disciple for lasts longer? Because you'll be able to pop out two nightly, uh, two nightly disciples at the same time. Higher lacking damage than yeah. 
Yeah, actually, just some random guy, you know, he did mention uh, the V-Man enhancement will actually give you more uh, more seconds, more timer on the Nightly Disciple. That way you can kill more things. Makes, uh, makes you get more orb. Also, I kind of want to book that. Ooh, I can book that. Okay, well, there's... Not yet, still not go too much to the V Man, down the skill points, yeah. Honestly, yeah, I like crystal farming DK on uh, pots. When it's Snellbees? I mean, you can do it on any any of those three maps, honestly. It's just kind of efficient doing it on Sandy Pots specifically because you can also farm uh, Glass Shards at the same time since you need that for the Glass Jar Stamp or Mason Jar Stamp. Yeah. Obviously, if you're solely farming it for Glass Shards, do it on ES, it's better. Uh, but since you're Crystal Farming, I mean, it doesn't impact you too much doing it on Sandy Pots as opposed to... Um... Yeah. Well, thanks for joining, Spadey. Appreciate it. We have a good night. Thank you. Appreciate it. Red mush are actually decent right now for crystal. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Wait, that was seven seven two. That was a seven seven two six. That's sad. It's good here, good here. Back to the grind. Make sure I got that. That's going. Cool. Oh, happy hour. Actually, I need to do I need to do party dungeon in general, so we can we can all do happy hour if anyone wants. I need to look at toolbox and see what I actually need for slab. Hold on. Count slab. I'm missing some of the uh, party dungeon stuff. Uh, looks like archers, archers and mage is what I'm missing right now, mostly. All right, well. Siege breaker. Or Beastmaster. Let's do Beastmaster for the memes. I'm gonna do Beastmaster for the memes. No one likes Beastmaster. All right, I'm at a pop two. Popsicle two. Wait, I'm on Cookie Server 18. I lied. I'm on Pop 2 now. All right. <laughs> Let's make sure to put that in Discord. Pop 2. Ah, wait, I don't have a player clicks. Party. Party. Party, 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 party. 
party. <clears throat> Zero, Darius, Ox. <laughs> There's a lot of people here. I'm just inviting whoever's here. Uh, can you let me to Neoza? Neoza, Neoza, Neoza. Uh, that was you? My character's name is Lucky Main Z. So if you're getting invites from Lucky Main Z, don't accept it. Duck Car, Cien Pai, Ahiru. Who, who else is not at a party? Neo. Stop moving. <laughs> there we go. Anyone else? What do I have to leave? Uh, we good? We're missing one person. Let me go to World Through real quick and equip the uh, dungeon, dungeon prayer. That's one. World one. Back. All right. Who else needs party? There's so many people here. You know, one more, one more slot, one more slot. Oops, all right, well, it's gonna be empty preset now. I'm about ready to go soon. <laughs> I think someone's gonna equip a prayer real quick. I mean, looks like we have everyone in the map right now. We got we got one guy here. Do 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 do. Uh, we got one guy either AFK or not in the map, so come back and join quick. Good, good system. I like that. All right, we're gonna go in like. All right, we're gonna go. Let's go. If you made it, yay. If you didn't, that sucks. Good damage. Drop chance. Total damage. Catch. Total damage. Drop chance. Oh. Ooh. Give me. Full, yes. Cool, I already got full. I haven't seen full in so long.
can of varnish is crazy. I don't have a high crit chance, so maybe I sh shouldn't have taken full yet. Got mana fire, non horn. That's sad. She crit chances right now is what I need. Do, 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 do. Don't need crit damage. Crit chance, sure. <laughs> Which HP does this frog have? Effectiveness, extra line, heal more. All right, we go for it. I think we got like one item out of that. Oops. And a varnish, pretty good. Here's some upgrades. For a chance, solid. Pleasure bows. I, I think four is the highest for me right now. Ooh, crit chance. All right. We are cracked, guys. I got eight. Uh, very unfortunately, it doesn't help that I am Beastmaster. OK, I think I have enough to drop on the thing. Yeah, I have enough. I love how the UI bugs out. You see a bunch of fireballs happening all the time. Do 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 do. Oh, got a thing down here. Lost damage. Sure. I can't tell if I'm actually doing damage or not to this. Horn time, yeah. So crit damage right now, 
Cool. Oh, someone followed? Oh, someone subscribed. Thanks, Monado. Zeldmatch? Thanks. Oh, hello, Zeldmatch. How's it going? I'm going to say thank you for the follow, but you just messaged in chat. How's it going? <laughs> We have almost three minutes left. We're doing uh, pretty good. Oh, well, thanks for the follow, Zellmatch. Appreciate it. <laughs> you just saw 20... Exactly. I'm clairvoyant. I guess I'll uh, drop some of this on the bottom floor so I get some money. Try buying. It's a pretty chill party dungeon. I wonder how many uh, slab things I got, actually. Don't think I got any slab, actually. Scratch that. It's unfortunate. At least this helps with the uh, card farm, I guess. <laughs> I almost had this at four star. That's almost three star. Once I leave the party dungeon, I think my traps are going to be ready. Let's see what I get. Roll at 88. I don't know, but I'm almost level 50 in party dungeon. That's huge. GG's, everyone. Good job. Ah. So I will not do it again on this character, but I will be doing more party dungeon on another character. So I will disband. Do I need to disband? I don't know if that impacts anything. Anyways, I'm going to disband. I'm going to create another party if you guys want to join. Three minutes left on my traps. What's the max roll for that respawn? Um, The gem shop one, I think, is... 10%. I suppose I should use the rest of this cranium cook before I go into a party dungeon, so give me a give me a sec, guys. Is it six? Six for the non-gem shop one, but yeah. So you get two, so twelve. You can double. So they give you twenty-four or they give you eighteen. I think it's 24. You got six and three. Good job. I 
I still can't get over it. I won that and got two times construction speed. It's crazy. Ooh, 70%. Do I have an upgrade there? 68, 65. There's a 70 right there. Let's go to the 67. All right. Not screw the cranium cook. I can cranium cook whenever I want. Nice, good job. All right, anyone down for some more party dungeon? Character's name is Main Miner Boy. Let me double check what else I need for slab. So I need, I can get like five things here for slab. It's pretty good. Oh, that reminds me, I need to change the card sets on my, uh, my Beastmaster. Do, 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 do. You know, guys, at the beginning of the stream, I said I was making coffee. I Coffee was still being made, and I forgot to pour it. So after I'm done doing this party dungeon, I'm going to go get my cup of coffee. All right. Um, I'm just going to go. I think we'll be fine. Chance, cash, dice, damage, drop chance, perfect. Let's get a bunch more drop chance. All right, we're good. Good for now. Drop rate, more drop rate. Don't want that much drop rate. Cool. 
think I have sufficient mob materials here. Do, 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 do. Crochana, that's nice. Dead book, really good. Lost damage, also pretty good. Do I have red? Don't. Do 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 Level 50, let's go. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Mm, should I save those? Oops. Save that. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Do 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 do. do. I suppose I can drop these too. Here we go. Don't want drop chance, give me damage. Oh my god. The one time I don't want drop chance in this. I swear to God. I swear to God. All I'm getting is drop. There we go. All right. 
crit damage. Boss damage, sure. I get getting notifications of people joining the Discord, so thank you for joining, if you are joining. Oh. I guess I will uh, come on down there. I think someone's got full. That's probably why we're going to spawn them so quick. Good job. GG's. I think I'm good on party dungeon for a little bit since I just hit level 50. But that is one, two, three, four, five, I think, slab. Five slab done. Now, a good chunk of my slab, well, a good chunk of it still remains to be party dungeon. There's a lot. Uh, still, I need to upgrade in tier <clears throat> that we can get the rest of party dungeon done. But I'm also missing some uh, some pretty easy, uh, easy stuff, easy ovals as well. You chopping the tree? Oh my god. My God. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. I think I'm gonna carry on that one. Jeez. I will leave that party. I'm gonna go back to doing regular stuff. I suppose I'll go back to World 3 and equip uh, my prayers again. Any tips on World 3 solo dungeon? Fuck, which one's that? Galax Galaxicus? Um, I did it on V-Man. Uh, I would look up... Uh, Griffey did a guide on it a while ago. I would follow his suggestions. It's, um, it's kind of the best guide out there for soloing World 3 dungeon. That pain in the ass. I... <laughs> I don't know why it timed you out. I thought I removed the foul language restrictions. I apologize about that. Yeah, no problem. Uh, it, it is. It's old, but it's still still fine to use.
think I can finally craft uh, one of the items I actually need for slabs. Let me go ahead and do that. Don't forget the coffee. Yes, thank you, Nyoshi. Thank you, thank you. Let me go back to world one real quick. Remind me in like 10 seconds. <laughs> I need craft diabolical headgear. That's what I needed. We got Starfire. Fuck, what's the crafting recipe? Null assault, blobfish. Blobfish. Just double check. Make sure I pick this up. Drop it. Drop it again. Don't care about it. Lab. Just go refresh that. Refresh the page. We're now at 172 slab. Let's go. 172 missing, rather. How much? How long is my growth cycle on this? I think it's like two hours, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, back on pots. All right, I'm gonna be right back. Go get my coffee. Shame on you, Neo. She didn't remind me the second time. <laughs> I'll be right back. Hello, hello, Master Fist. How are you doing? I saw someone follow. Hold on, hold on. Who's that? Al Alka, thank you for following. Appreciate it. Sorry, I just uh, went up to go get some coffee. How's everyone doing? Nice little, uh, nice little party dungeon action we got we had going on there. Mm. Before I forget, let me actually equip the level fifty uh, party dungeon upgrade real quick. Once I kill these and select, collect their loot. Oops, I did not mean to click that. Open shop. One dungeon credits. Max MP is one to this one, I think, right? It's good. One purple RNG item of four choices. That's pretty good. I'm gonna try out what that looks like real quick, actually. Oh, yeah, I'm a Beastmaster, I forget. Hello, streamer in chat. Love the vids. Glad I can hang out. Hey, can fizzle. How's it going? Glad you liked the videos. Welcome in. Let's go to fighting AFK games. Hop over to this guy. Credits. Shop. Pet shop.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's full. Wait, that just dupe? Yeah, I'm just gonna go for Horn of the Full, why not? Well, that is a, it's a pretty strong upgrade. My god. I didn't intend for this to turn into just a party dungeon stream, but uh, I guess here we go. <laughs> Drop chance. Drop chance. Cash. Yeah, that's good. Ah, there we go. Welcome, Nini Granite, some party engines. It's the other one. Yeah, party engines are really good. Really, really good. Always recommend them. I mostly needed to do it for slab because I was missing some of the upgrades. So I'm missing some of the items from slab from party dungeon. Don't you want to get that all stat ring? Yeah, Emperor's Opals, they're best in slot. It seems like I get 250 with the keychains last upgrade. Nice. Me too. I'm pretty new to the game with all the weekly dungeon. So busy past two months of traveling. I'm going to sit down at some point and just spam. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, if you have the prayer unlocked, which I can't showcase right now because I'm in party dungeon, you can have that unlocked. You'll get more credits and flurbos if you complete it. Just by the way. More crits I was fishing for. Do, do, do. Ooh, armadillo. Move speed. Recycler. Big old belly. Oh my God. Am I going to die? Wait, please. Don't kill me. No! 
I died. <laughs> I can't remember where you unlock that prayer, but yeah, that prayer is good. Oh, I have 32. Should go and uh, go and kill the boss, actually. Plus one slab. Give me crit chance. More crit chance. <laughs> crit damage, boss damage, boss damage, crit chance, sure. We'll stick with that. Awesome. Is it wave 51? Got it. Yeah, that'll give you more flurbos and uh, much of a calls it's. Well, what do you guys think uh, Lava's going to add World 5 prayers? I'm waiting. Your forty passes, yeah. I just feel like I finished this with so much time left, it's unfortunate I had to sit here for so long. How much damage am I going to get from this? It's an infinite money glitch. <laughs> Hello, Zayden. How's it going? Wish I was way to leave dungeons without losing gains. Yeah. Hitting for 150k inside the dungeon, that's crazy. Or Zadek, Zadek Nav... I don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> Well, we got a minute to chill. Do, 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 do. All 
right. Finally escape party dungeon. Yeah, we're done experimenting. No more party dungeon today. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Zadek. I'll just call you Zadek. Uh, let's go do some quests. Uh, do some tasks, rather, not quests. Maybe we could do. Should I farm some bosses? <laughs> I don't want to waste keys. I don't want to use keys right now. Actually, I don't know. Shrine effects is actually pretty sick prayer to try to max out. Or not prayer, but um, card. It's like I'm missing out on like crystal and giant spawn chance because of it. You know, what's, my, what's my toe mat today? What's it, what's it looking like? Top 5 with 21, 3, 2, 9. Total Colo score. How do I get that up? There's Dungeon Rink. 1 in 9 Crystal Spawn Chance. Highest kill rate on a warrior. Well, unfortunately... Not there. Do 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 do. Ah, twelve ninja floors unlocked. All right, well, I guess we are, for the time being, back on pots. Yeah, the cheese is the easiest boss to fight. Yeah, I should definitely do it. It's kind of crazy I haven't yet. So let's get my V-Man out and do that. Also, it's chaotic. It's not Nightmare, so it's not that many keys. What's my trophy I have right now? Eh. Um, just need drop rate. Let's go ahead and swap ovals. Perfect. Oh, these these. Wait. Ah. Ooh, caught it. I muted. Let's get two. What's my drop rate right now? 27.1. Good enough. World 3 dungeon carry. I need to beat Kingpin. Don't have enough damage. Um, do you just need the carry or do you need the Equinox challenge? Because they can't carry you for that solo. Carry. I haven't I haven't done World 3 in so long, I forget the mechanics of it. Wait, how many cards do I need? Yeah, cheese. I'm 16 more right now. I'm debating whether or not I should Ruby Rubify it, or if I should farm the Ruby. The Skilling Dungeon? Is that the one with, um... Oh, it's the Ice one. Yeah, it's the one in World 3. Um... I can probably help you with it if you want to wait a sec. And by a sec, I probably mean longer than a second. Is it really only like 50? I feel like you're lying. Well, 
Well, I have drop rate on. Should I, should I have card drop rate on? Well, for Equinox, you have to solo it. You can't... You can't have someone carry you. You have to solo it if you're doing Equinox. Six more. I feel like Ruby, you're lying to me because all the other ones are like 700. <laughs> 688, hold on. What am I farming? I'm farming cheese ore cards. K3. Got patched. <laughs> It's all right. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait. How? Huh? Hold on a second. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That said 683. I'm not lying, right? Huh? Hold on a second. I want to do Nightmore Teaser now. <laughs> so, hold on, this is 190. 190 cards. I'm going to go through so many cheese or keys. Oh my god. Check the VOD, check the VOD. <laughs> Like surely I'm not I'm getting one card. Look at the loot log right now. So one one card. So I got earlier. Two cards there. So is that three total? Still okay, you need one eighty six here. Can't cheese that one? Okay, well. Well uh we'll come back to that. Hold on. Okay, let's 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 try Let's try regular cheese ore, normal cheese ore. So 685 on normal cheese ore. I want to see what the, the loot feed says here. I got three of the first card. And the second instance was. I guess just three. This is 682 right now. Six seventy nine. Still blue. 676. Still 
So I take it the nightmare variants you need to spend the ruby on if you wanna wanna get good. Edelon, Wiki, Cheezor. Let's see how many you need for Ruby. Ruby, yeah. Does it say? Card. It says you need 688 from the, from the wiki. Maybe this is actually 688? Well, I mean, this one's not that bad to farm. It's just going to be tedious. He means this cheese right here, the golden cheese. Shrine. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, apparently, Chaotic Cheese War doesn't require that many cards to actually Rubify, so you can just straight up kill him and eventually get it, like in a reasonable amount of time. Chaotic Cheese War card. Yeah, Chaotic Cheese War card only requires. 16 cards to actually rubify. That's crazy. Oh, someone followed. Thanks, Bisky Bosky. Appreciate the follow. I guess Chaotic Cheese War is that the only one you can cheese? Oh, someone else followed. Thanks, Z Dark Rebellion 99. Thanks so much. It's more of a bad game design. Yeah, that's very misleading because we saw Chaotic Cheese War required like 400 or something, 600. And then I got it in like three. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just Chaotic Cheese War, right? Like the way I got No World 4, yeah. All right, guys, we, we're going to sit here 270 or 269 more times so I can kill Cheese War. Max out my 300 bosses per day. He was ready. <laughs> Hold on. You you got into World 4 with plat armor and a level 200 barb. I feel like that's not cheesing. I feel like you went actually really slow. You mean 109? I mean, it's not bad. It's about on average. Yeah, 109 is not bad. It's about average, at least from what I'm seeing in the IE reviews. Interesting, you went for your Zows. I don't think I can stand to sit here <laughs> and kill Cheese or this, uh, like, 200 more times. I'm going to spread this out over a few days. Don't mind the massive amount of cheese or your Efon helmets I have. Change over to skilling. All right. You know, almost 75,000 golden meat pies. I need a bunch of glass shards and statues, I guess. And food. That's what I'm going for. Food. That's the important one.
All right. Yellow 10 bandit. Yeah, I, I did have some of the storage because I haven't completed the quests that require the headbands on some people, so I, it's purposefully in there, don't worry. Um, the one thing I refuse to do or force people to do whenever I do IE reviews is quests. I know they're good because you get skilling efficiency to the star talent, but I cannot bring myself to complete quests in this game. <laughs> That's why I have um, e-font helmets in my V-Man inventory because I want to craft uh, the... Misc challenge for world two, I think. Try to get the trophy on everyone. Just to unlock the trophy. Okay. Ruby can't excuse where it really worked. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't know that. I I missed I was missing out on a ton of shrine effect chance. Or shrine effect. It's more damage, more life. Quest or find something that you... Yeah, Yonder Green. Yonder Green, I will never... Probably never complete a day in my life. There's no way I'm going to leave my character to AFK for, what, three hours and three minutes? Exactly. Plus or minus three minutes? Absolutely not. Let me pull up the spreadsheet. Okay, so yesterday we completed. We completed one review. We're going to do another review today. We're heading into review time, guys. You have 24 hour candy. Yeah, you can't do candy. What's your mind? Orb level? Um, 335. <laughs> We got the next account pulled up. Looks like a World 6 account. Recently updated it yesterday, yesterday morning. So we'll take a, take some of the things that are like time gated with a grain of salt. But, but we got his accounts relatively up and ready. If I donate, can I skip the line? Is there no one? <laughs> I don't want to incentivize people to pay me to do their reviews. I mean, obviously, if you want to donate, go for it. I'm not going to stop you, but I don't want to incentivize you to to do that. Hold on. I'm sorry, Darks. Uh, let me try to turn off the filter that chatbot has right now. I don't know what's going on. Because I thought I removed the filters. Uh, Cloudbot. Word protection. Now what's the
I mean, it is a one second timeout. <laughs> I guess it's fine. And it was anyone's curious what Dark said? Oh yeah, he, he said it, okay. On my screen, you were under the flies, just saw yourself on stream. Well, hello, welcome. <laughs> Is don't look at my talents. There's uh, things I need to book there. Uh, I thought there was a way on IE. What are you looking for? How do you see the storage chest you don't have? Yeah, I think there is a way you can check it on IE. But yeah, you can check it in your character's inventory, I think someone said. Uh, your storage here. What did Dark say? Uh, he said, so funny seeing a massive ass god sword hitting tiny sand pots, sandy pots. And then Streamlabs timed him out for one second for saying ass. What did Dark say? Is this the best map for crystal farming? Yeah, there's better maps. Sandcastles and Snellbees are technically better because it's better like, layout. Is there no one? Can I use Prime Sub here? So I, I'm not an affiliate yet on Twitch. I'm close. I need to stream for a few more days till I get affiliate, but at that point you'll be able to sub to me. So if you want to save your Prime sub for me while I wait for that to get affiliate, feel free. <laughs> I massively appreciate that. Don't worry. But yeah, uh, the reason I'm doing Sandy Pot farming is because uh, one, I need glass shards. Uh, and two, I'm also... Statue farming is my main goal, but I'm doing glass shards secondarily. In addition to statue farming, I'm also food farming to try to Equinox bonus. Nice. Appreciate that. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to blow my nose real quick. I'm going to go drink some water, refill my cup, and then we'll go start on one IE review. Uh, thanks, Neoshi, uh, for stopping by. Appreciate it. I'll see you later, man. Uh, and then we'll see how we feel about doing two reviews. Usually, my throat gets kind of parched because of how hard I go in the IE reviews, so I'll... Um, we'll, we'll We'll see how I go <laughs> if I want to do two. <laughs> I'll be right back though. Hello, hello, I am back. Yes, glass shards are for the stamp. Uh, mason jar. And misc. Carry capacity for all item types. Really good. Um, yeah. Ooh, I forgot to swap over the pop bubbles. Someone followed. Who was it? Thanks, b -b 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 win. <laughs> Appreciate the follow. Am I missing out on some drop rate here? I feel like my drop rate's low. Why is that? Weird. Oh, someone else followed. Thank you, Confizzled, for the follow. Appreciate it. Sorry for the name. You're fine. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> do, 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 do.
Sorry, I'm just updating something stream side. And then we'll head into the review real quick. Notifications. Disable desktop notifications. That's what I was trying to do. So it doesn't pop up. Uh, do you have any speculation about the new class? That'll be cool. <laughs> uh, what am I doing right now? I'm currently just farming on sandy pots for glass shards while statue farming. Statue farming is my main goal right now. Uh, secondary, I just want glass shards so I can upgrade the stamp a little bit more. Uh, but we're going to transition to doing IE reviews. Uh, we have some people that are queued up to do their reviews, and we'll go ahead and head into them. Um, real quick, so no one, speculation about new classes. Um, we know we know the names of them. We just don't know who's going to do what, at least, because if you look at Party Dungeon, you'll see like the names of the classes. Um, so you know there's, what, Deathbringer, um, something Sorcerer, uh, at, and then like wind walker or whatever um i imagine the blood berserker upgrade is probably going to be farming uh the elemental sorcerer upgrade yeah wind walker the elemental sorcerer upgrade is going to be summoning is my guess um i would assume wind walker is going to be sneaking because if you're a wind walker you're i imagine silent i think i don't know anyways <clears throat> let's go ahead and swap over views to desktop. All right. Today on our list we have Deathbringer's farming. I'm assuming because I mean, think about it. It's he's got like a giant scythe type weapon in, in like his background, right? And like that's that scythe you could be using for farming. Therefore, it's a farming class, right? Also, Deathbringer famine. I don't know. The horseman. Listen, it it made sense. Is that a Bubo class Evo? Oh yeah, the BB is a chef, right? So therefore, it just makes sense. <laughs> is that a Bubo class Evo? I don't, I don't know. No, they're not alternate paths. They're direct upgrades. At least they look like they're direct upgrades. This count you should use their balls. I agree. I said that there'll be subclasses like Shump. Did he say that? Where did he say that? Am I missing something? He said there's subclasses, but... Here's the thing. I also don't know what the difference is between sub and elite class. Right, they're on the roadmap. They say subclass. Right. Well, I mean, here's the thing. If you look at the family tab, like there's, like they're right above, like the different classes, which tells me they're just upgrades. I don't know. I don't think you have to choose as, as like, like you won't have to like create a new character or like class or something. I think they're just direct upgrades from the classes because based off the family tab, it looks like they're just direct upgrades. There's no like, splitting of the path or anything yeah it's just an upgrade to something yeah i mean that that's also a fair point they were here before elites were a thing so these were these are predetermined i suppose but i don't know Any, anyways big tangent let's let's actually do what we're here to talk about Having the talent sexy elite tab, yeah. Anyways, let's let's get back to back, back on track of what we're talking about, or we're what we're what we're doing here, what I'm doing here. Uh, let me just blow my nose real quick. All right, everyone. Ready? Three, two, one. Hey, guys. It's Main here, back again with another video. Again, we're doing another review kind of live on stream. Uh, if you guys aren't in the know already, I'm starting to do the reviews kind of live on stream. I think it's a better format for me. Uh, kind of keeps me on the toes. Helps people uh, in the chat as well kind of learn something on the live. And as opposed to waiting for the video, you can watch it live and sort of get some some uh, some immediate help with your account. Um, 
the notifications do get published over to the Discord. Both the link to my Twitch as well as Discord are in the description, so go ahead and click on the links there. Um, feel free to sort of jump in there, join the Discord, say hello, pop in. Everyone in the Eidolon chat is pretty active and they're pretty, they're pretty helpful with their accounts, so if they've gotten reviews, they kind of gen have a general idea of what they should be doing and they can help you out. Yeah, go and join the Discord. And if you're in chat, type exclamation mark Discord. It'll pull out the link for the Discord. You can go and join it if you aren't already. Anyways, <laughs> this is always going to be one high YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, uh, popping into it. Uh, today we have Tata Puyu. Uh, looks like this person is in World 6. Um, I think when he messaged me on Discord, it's more so like general help or general, um, general direction. Nothing in particular he wanted to focus on. So let's go ahead and just jump in. See what he's currently working on. See what he could be doing to improve his account. And um, so let's give him some general pointers. So let's jump into it. So we have um, we have two elemental sorcerers, two blood berserkers, one siege breaker, two DKs, a bubo, a beast master, and a V man. Perfect. So he's got a pretty standard setup. That's what I'm doing. Uh, so we have 339, 154, 330, 340. Looks like general account level is going to be like between 200 and 330. So that's something I'd probably simmer down on and try to focus on. Um, there's a few things I can say just looking at your characters that you should focus on. First of all, your character's overall levels are relatively low for someone that's in World 6. Um, if you're... Before I go too far, I want to check something real quick. Okay. So it looks like you are probably in a more rushed state in World 6. Uh, looks like you got here, uh, but you need to kind of go back to the previous worlds and kind of focus on some things before you progress World 6. World 6 should not be something you should be progressing right now. I feel like you could benefit from going back through the different worlds and trying to upgrade some of the things you may have neglected or missed out on. So don't worry about pushing World 6. I don't, suspo I don't suppose you're probably able to do that and you probably stop um, and focus on some of the earlier mechanics. So let's just talk about that. Okay, overall, um, I would recommend trying to push your gear up. Uh, overall, your character's like, um, armor should be pushed up to like probably like void troll area uh, i don't know what your salts are looking at we'll talk about that in a second but you should try to push your gear up as much as possible luster is kind of a waste because it doesn't really upgrade into the more important stuff um obviously your end goal is going to be at, at kind of hopefully feasible for you is going to be like troll to magma gear uh void is a good kind of starter point where you can try to push your gear into try to upgrade that into troll uh would be the ideal uh, troll, magma, marble glass, wherever you're able to upgrade that. They'll give you a bunch of all stat, which helps with your damage, which helps with your accuracy. Um, anything that you're uh, that you're lacking, it would help you a lot with. As well, a uh, big point you can try to upgrade your account is the tools. Um, getting your characters into void luster plus tools would be a really good thing you can try to do. Give you a ton of damage as well. So if you're struggling with damage, it would help you with that. Also, uh, additionally, the stats do help with your earlier skills. So chopping, mining, Catching and fishing, they do scale off your uh, your class's main stat, uh, rather, you know, their specific stat. So you can boost the efficiency of those skills by upgrading your tools, uh, but also those stats that apply would also give you more scaling efficiency for those skills. So try to upgrade your tools. I think void should be relatively decent for you. Pushing into luster might be a little bit difficult if you're lacking for green salts. We'll talk about salts in a second when we get there because I have no idea what your refinery looks like. I imagine it's probably bad. It usually is bad for most people. Uh, so let's talk about that in just a second. Uh, looks like you have some onyx statues already, uh, so you're not doing too bad. I hope you have choco chip. I think you, I think I saw you had choco chip. You do, okay. So I mean, you could crystal farm on your DK. I mean, your crystal spawn's not doing terrible. Um, I imagine you have decent cards too. You just don't have card doublers. So I mean, you have, you can crystal farm. I'd probably recommend doing the crystal farm. You got some of the more important ones done, so good on that. Um, you probably just need more drop rate, I imagine. Unfortunately, I can't really check your drop rate, but yeah, drop rate's probably something you're struggling with right now. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you're active farming, just make sure you have high drop rate. Usually the goal I try to aim for or try to push people to do would be like around 10 to 13, 11 to 13 would be the goal you want to push, uh, would, would be what you want to do. Uh, but yeah. Regarding prayers, um, you never really want to run Fiber of Absence. Fiber of Absence is a multiplicative damage reduction and absolutely take it off. Uh, running Fiber of Absence is a, ter oh, it's a terrible prayer. 
pretty much at all points of the game, you're going to be hitting multi-kill. And if you're hitting multi-kill, Fiber of Absence just reduces the amount of kills you're going to be getting. So take this off. It's really only good if you cannot hit multi-kill. It's the only way you can sort of increase the amount of kills you get. But like I said, it is a multiplicative damage reduction. Take it off. It's really bad. Other thing, you are running Royal Sampling. That's pretty good. I saw someone mention take off 3D Printer Pair. Do not do that. 3D Printer Pair is really good. So uh, if you don't have that on your characters, like this character, for example, put it on. Uh, you need to hit 90% print sample rate. That's extremely important. If you're not hitting this right here for 90%, um, you're doing something wrong. Go ahead and get, put it on all your characters. All right, on the dashboard, you have your keys done. Good, good, good. Stamps. Okay. Uh, looks like you have most of the stamps unlocked, just minus the World 6 ones and some of the ones from World 5. So these are sailing specific, so if you can unlock them, obviously unlock them. Uh, the stats you get from them are really good. Uh, so I try to focus on trying to unlock that if you were able to, if your sailing is pushed enough. Uh, overall, you should try to aim for a stamp level of 7,500 that's hopefully feasible for you. Big ones for you to focus on are going to be multi-tool stamp and ladle stamp. This will help you massively with cooking. These are base uh, efficiency for those skills. Leveling them up will give you a huge amount of cooking efficiency. Will help you juice out uh, getting ladles, uh, ladle production. Also, you don't have levels in this forge stamp. I tried to upgrade it. Um, if you're able to mine god shard ore, which is what this scales off of, uh, I try to upgrade this. This gives you more forge capacity, which um, is not something that's going to impact you too much right now, but it is important. Help you also get uh, those stamp levels if you're um, if you have the rift upgrade for it, which you do. Okay. Um, yeah, overall, I try to recommend upgrading the stat stamp specifically. Um, some of the better ones to upgrade are going to be Intellecto Stamp, the Sash Side Stamp, Maxo Slapo. Those are all really good stamps to try to upgrade. Those give you base stats, which gets scaled through all stat percent. It also gets scaled by the doubler from Lab. Uh, these stats, uh, these stamps are extremely good for pushing your damage as well as your accuracy on your other classes, um, and also helps with your. Uh, with your efficiency for your skills. So it gives you a ton of bonuses there. So highly recommend doing that. Anvil, okay. This is something you absolutely should try to do. On your Elemental Sorcerer, uh, you can try to push this up as much as possible. Uh, try to unlock all the materials from World 1 to World 4 to try to give your characters more points. Uh, this will help you with your production. So if you're struggling here and trying to level 13 some vials or using, uh, using those materials to upgrade some of the bubbles in Alchemy, uh, getting these points will help uh, make that go by faster so you don't have to be kind of time locked for a long time. Uh, I'd highly recommend trying to spread your points between speed and capacity. If you're V-Man specifically, I'd recommend probably EXP speed um, and just keep focusing on uh, progressing thread for your V-Man so you get more EXP to level it up. Uh, but, you know, producing it in speed and capacity will be able to, will make it so you can start leveling up your vials uh, relatively quickly. If you're kind of capped on the production per hour on thread, nails, whatever you're trying to produce. Overall production is extremely important, even into endgame, because as you produce bricks, uh, that's going to be important for upgrading things like the crystal and stamp. So if you're struggling with crystal mob spawn chance, this is something you obviously want to sink your points into, but if you don't have the production speed for it, you can't do it. So uh, if you're struggling with that, uh, go back through World 1 to World 4, get the materials that you're missing to upgrade your anvil and all your characters to produce that production speed. Alchemy. Okay. So um, I would highly recommend trying to unlock the bubbles from World 5. You're almost there. Um, I didn't mean that sigh to be kind of toxic. Uh, you're doing relatively fine. Uh, like I said, I think some of the earlier things of your account are kind of neglected, but you can start uh, going back and try to unlock this. Try to unlock your bubbles on your Shaman because he does have a talent called Bubble Breakthrough, uh, your Bubo rather. Uh, it'll give you a higher... Uh, percent chance to unlock those bubbles so it's always best done on your shaman uh, since you're into world six you would benefit obviously from some of the upgrades uh, that are presented there uh, such as crop evo chance the tome upgrades uh, so try to unlock those as well try to unlock the world six bubbles as well that would be uh, my probably biggest advice here alchemy uh, world six bubbles do provide a lot for progressing those skills and giving me a ton of a uh, ton of other bonuses such as uh, strength and agility through the, uh, through the tome bonuses. So try to unlock those so you can get the bonuses from those. Uh, you're just missing out on a little bit of bonus from the tome specifically, which is unlocked through alchemy. Try to unlock those if you can. I can't see past uh, power try one and try three in IE, so I hope you have those unlocked, but try to push it if you can. Big thing for you to focus on, I imagine you're probably able to upgrade this right now with bargain tags. Try to uh, uh, upgrade diamond chef some more. It's at the point where it's able to be upgraded by no bubble left behind with the lithium upgrade, but still try to upgrade this. This gives you a ton of meal cooking speed. Uh, the 1.17 times is deceptive. It gives you a lot more damage than that. 
it acts, it's right now it's giving you an 844 times multiplier but the more you upgrade that the more that multiplier goes up obviously the more meals you unlock uh, the more meals you get to level 11 will give you even more meal cooking speed so when we get into cooking i'll come back to this but this is a really important bubble to try to upgrade as much as you can uh, also if you're struggling with exp Never mind. we'll come back to this. Let's not talk about grind time. I don't think you're at a point where you want to do grind time, but this is how you kind of juice out classy XP. But again, I don't think you should be focusing on this right now because of some of the things I saw with your Bubo. We'll get back to that in just a second. Uh, thanks, Shadow, for the follow. Appreciate it. Anyways, alchemy in general, I think the best things for you to focus on are going to be these second bubbles. Trying to get these up to 100 million resource costs so you can try to add them these. These bubbles are extremely good and some of the best bubbles in alchemy because they boost the small bubble um, sort of bonuses that they provide you. It'll help juice out your skilling. It'll help juice out your damage. So if you're missing damage or skilling, these bubbles will overall help your account progression. So try to get these up to 100, 100 million resource cost and try to push it up to about like a 70 to 80% capacity. You can use Eidolon Toolbox. It'll give you a good breakdown of what that uh, what that capacity is. You can just change the efficiency threshold here. It's like 70%, 80%, uh, whatever you feel comfortable doing that we can try to push that up. It'll give you a ton of bonuses. This um, shouldn't neglect that. It's absolutely important. Okay. <clears throat> um, so, I mean, I you have most of the bubbles unlocked. I try to unlock some of the Equinox ones. I mean, they do give you some good bonuses. Uh, shrine charge rate is going to be pretty good. Faster Equinox bar fill rate if you're struggling with Equinox. Um, these bonuses are pretty good, so try to unlock the vial for them. <clears throat> okay, the other thing I do want you to start focusing on is you should be at a point where you're able to start getting level 13 vials and some of the earlier skilling resources. Rather, skilling resources in general should come a little more natural and easier to you. So try to get some of these bubbles up or vials up to level 13. The copper ore one, uh, the jungle logs, uh, toilet logs, uh, the gold ore. Getting these up to 13 can be really important when you unlock the level 13 vial or vial mastery in Rift. Uh, these bonuses are going to help your account a lot. Uh, it'll boost the sort of magnitude of every single vial that you have there. So it'll help you with things like multi-kill. It'll give you a uh, stamp cost reduction. That's really important. It'll give you gaming EXP, sailing speed, cooking speed, uh, new pet breed chance if you're struggling with breeding. It'll help you a lot with that. Uh, so try to get those scaling bubbles, up, uh, scaling vials up to 13. Get a high print of them. Get get those up to level 13 if you can. And yeah, don't focus on sigils right now. Uh, try to focus on unlocking the bubbles if you can. Okay, refinery. So I suspect your refinery is kind of out of whack here. So typically I don't recommend the salt refinery chart. Like I try to stay around those levels. It's not entirely accurate. The best way for you to judge uh, your refinery, like like production and like cost would be through Eidolon Toolbox. It does give you a cost per hour breakdown. Uh, so anything that's orange right here, you're in it, you're running at a deficit. So you need to kind of upgrade those. This is mine, for example. So I, per I, I know I did this kind of out of whack. Don't worry. I know it's bad, uh, but you want to kind of focus on re-maintaining your salts and getting this back into balance because the longer you're salt locked the worse your account's going to be i see you're already salt locked for orange salt specifically you can't produce enough orange salts to sustain your uh, blue salts i never put these on zero percent auto refine unless you're actively trying to push them you there's no reason you should be auto refining at zero percent to try to upgrade these so stick it on 10 percent, 25 50 whatever you want just don't upgrade orange blue um or whatever, try to stick to the salt refinery chart and maintain your salts uh, that we have them for crafting materials, upgrading your tools. Because uh, right now you're salt locked, which means you're not able to upgrade some of the towers in construction, means you're not able to upgrade your tools or get bags or whatever. Um, salt lock is a very rough thing to deal with, even into end game. So always try to stick to infinite salt generation. Um, you never want to kind of forget that. You always want to keep red salts and green salts on 0% auto refine. Those are going to be hard to sort of under level. You want to keep pushing those levels as high as possible. Okay, yeah. And if you're struggling with tower defense, maxing this out for green salts is going to be pretty good, getting extra points for warship tower defense. Uh, this will help you push the higher waves. Uh, it just gives you more points to be able to push that. So you can try to max that out in salt. Like, it's a pretty easy upgrade. 
Okay, yeah, I suspected the prints were going to be somewhat lacking. So yeah, like I said, alchemy is going to be your best friend here. Highly recommend trying to upgrade mage's best, archer or bust, and warrior's rule. Those second bubbles, these will help you with skilling. Uh, you should obviously focus on trying to push the uh, skilling bubbles as much as you can. So like Hocus Choppus, ma um, mage's best, Hocus Choppus, Labrain Tools, Severa Purple, and uh, Tree Sleeper. Those are really good for chopping specifically. You want to try to upgrade those with atoms. Um, atoms are basically like free upgrades you can do. Um, I hope you do. You have Boron unlocked, and you have, I believe, the, you have Permeep unlocked. So you have 12 bubbles you can do every single day for free, basically. You just need to upgrade your atom generation so you can sustain doing those clicks every single day. Like I said, the best thing for you to do right now in Alchemy is try to get Mage's Best, Archer, or Bust, or Warrior's Roll up to 100 million resource costs so you can upgrade them with atoms. So for free, basically, every day. Uh, that's going to be your main goal right now. Uh, once you start focusing on that, my big recommendation is to swap over. Try to focus on skilling to get higher prints for your characters. Again, going back to your characters, they should all have Royal Sampler equipped, and you should really try to hit 90% print sample rate. That's going to be extremely important, uh, so you can try to hit that. Other thing you should really should be focusing on is also multi-log, or like the multi-resource chance. I do kind of forget this in my head that some people don't have this maxed out. You clearly don't either um so in your skilling info as well you can check what your uh, resource drop rate is this caps at 300 percent and it's a multiplier to how many resources you mine or like chop or whatever so it's extremely important you get this up to 300 percent. it's a hard cap you get some from stamps you get some from star signs and you get some from the bubbles from those big bubbles so try to upgrade that as much as you can to cap yourself out 300 percent double check this if you're not at 300 focus on those bubbles so the bubbles i'm talking about are gonna be wyoming blood uh, sploosh sploosh for multi fish chance, bug squared, and multilogo. Multilogo obviously is relatively hard to upgrade, so I um, try to produce iron bars, and you can use bargain tags to reduce the cost of this to try to upgrade that. Uh, but once you get this up to three hundred percent, you don't have to worry about it at all. I guess three hundred percent is kind of the hard cap right now for you. So well, it's a hard cap for everyone. So try to upgrade that to three hundred percent. It's a It'll multiply the amount of logs or resources you generate, which gives you higher prints, which gives you more atoms, which gives you more boron upgrades, which gives you more alchemy upgrades. Everything kind of skyrockets once you start focusing on skilling. Skilling is everything in this game. I know like the main focus is obviously pushing worlds, pushing damage, but the longer you neglect skilling, the worse your account's going to be because you neglected an atom collider, which means you can't produce enough atoms to push alchemy. Alchemy is kind of the square two of the game. Stamps are, are going to be square one. Uh, so you really want to get those up to speed with your account uh, before you can really consider pushing World 6 is my recommendation. And yeah, like I said, you're struggling with um, construction, I imagine, because you don't have the salts to upgrade that. So like I said, fixing your refinery is going to help out with your uh, with your pushing for um, for tower defense. The big thing for tower defense is trying to get Poisonic Elders at level 20, so you're hurting hard by not being able to upgrade this right now. So yeah. Hey, Giggles, what's up? Yeah, and like I said, big thing is going to be Atom Collider for you. Uh, Atom Collider right now is, is going to help your account a lot. Upgrading Boron, right now you only have 12 upgrades every single day. One, well, you have the achievement from Permeep, plus you have two base from Boron, so you're getting 12 upgrades per day. Uh, just when you go to upgrade Boron, just get enough atom generation to uh, get enough atoms to upgrade your bubbles in alchemy 12 times, then upgrade boron, then go back to alchemy. You'll get some free sort of upgrades from boron. You'll be able to push your bubbles even further. Uh, so you get additional free clicks every single day uh, than if you were to just upgrade boron like seven levels at a time or something. So uh, be cautious of that when you're trying to upgrade boron. It'll give you like a free reset kind of to be able to push atoms even more. Um, later on, your focus with Atom Collider is just trying to push the rest of the unlocks here. Uh, there's a lot of bonus things that it does provide you, some really good things. Uh, specifically, Fluoride is really good for meal cooking speed. It gives you, it, I believe it's a multiplier for meal cooking speed, so it's really good when your plate's at level 30 plus. Uh, it's one of the bigger upgrades you can for meal cooking speed. Uh, this, combined with Diamond Chef, combined with um, Blood Marrow from the V-Man Talon, is really good for cooking speed. Speaking of cooking, let's go talk, actually, before we talk about cooking, let's talk about worship. Okay, not terrible. Um, the only thing I see here that's a problem is your skulls aren't really, you aren't pushing your skull levels to be as high as they could. Um, 
I imagine you're probably salt locked, and that's why you can't push your skill levels higher. But yeah, try to upgrade your skulls so you can get more worship charge per day. Um, if you fall into the trap, never use slush skulls. Slush skulls are really bad, so don't equip them. Um, keep them though; they can be used in a different skull upgrade. But yeah, I think your issue right now is your salt locks. So you're not able to upgrade them. But general rule of thumb: never use. I uh, highly recommend not using charge siphon. I feel like you were or previously, uh, you are or previously were a charge siphon enjoyer. So try to level up your uh, your worship level on all your characters. Um, I'd recommend at the totem in world three uh, to try to use all your charge on clash of cans. That gives you the most exp per charge. So give you three hundred forty eight per one charge used. This is your most uh, efficient exp use uh, for your totem for pushing worship level on all your characters. You want to push worship level on your character as much as possible on v-man v-man is extremely important because of his talent species epoch it gives you a huge bonus to critters and worship for your combined worship and trapping level so getting worship and trapping up as much as you can on your v-man is really important for pushing your account and getting enough uh enough like souls and critters to progress your account through traps and stuff okay and your prayers um so your big focus is trying to get goblin gore fest up to wave 121 it's obviously going to be a little difficult because your tower levels are kind of suffering because you don't have salts, but Zerg Rush again is an extremely important prayer. If you're able to get to wave 20, 121, it's extremely good for AFK gain rate. It gives you higher prints. Uh, this in conjunction with Skilled Dimwit, I tried to max out, uh, max out Skilled Dimwit as, as fast as you can. Scaling efficiency is going to be really good. Obviously, it gives you higher prints, so put it on when you're scaling to get you higher prints. Um, other prayers to keep, uh, keep in mind of, try to max out as soon as you can it can be minus mind for more drop rate when you go like crystal farming under dk for example um another one jawbreaker is really good it's multiplicative more money uh on your on your characters when you're trying to money farm um royal sampler if you're not at 90 percent print sample rate try to get this up to like level 10 11 that way you're able to get the 90 percent print sample rate it gives more exp but it costs more at the same time yes so going back to uh chart uh going back to this if this is exp per charge so yeah, it costs more. So you're using what, like 120 charge uh, for like one use of this, but you're getting 120 times 348 EXP every time you click that button or deposit it to your, uh, to your thing. So you're getting a lot of EXP. You're, you're, the most efficient way to level up your worship is going to use all your charge you can on Clash of Kings. So yeah, that's, that's I recommend doing that. Moving on to cooking. Okay, cooking. So your meal cooking speed is relatively low. Um, kind of the reason for that is your diamond chef is relatively low. So again, if you're looking for meal cooking speed, I'd highly recommend trying to push meal cooking speed uh, through diamond chef. Uh, you should be able to use bargain tags to upgrade it like another one or two levels. And then kind of the rest of it's going to be upgraded through lithium, through no, no bubble left behind kind of passively as you, as you go through the days of your account. So try to upgrade diamond chef. This will help you as well. Uh, if you haven't already, try to book Blood Marrow. It's only level 100. You can book this to get even higher meal cooking speed. This is multiplicative. So this is a huge upgrade to meal cooking speed. Huge upgrade to meal cooking speed. This plus Diamond Chef are the biggest snowballs for meal co uh, for cooking in, in general. Um, this plus Fluoride at level 30 plates obviously is going to help you a lot flesh out your meal cooking speed. So try to upgrade blow, uh, Bone Marrow with the talent through the talent library. Uh, try to push that up as much as you can. That'll help out with cooking. Uh, the big ones for you to focus on are obviously going to be anything meal cooking speed related. So egg, corn dog, cabbage, uh, soda, whatever. I think I'm missing a few. But yeah, try to upgrade your meals to level 11 if they aren't already. Uh, you have some meals I believe you're able to. You only need 14 ladles on this one, on the, uh, the banana. To be able to upgrade that to diamond, you'll get some more meal cooking speed there. Cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, the only thing I can't see in IE for public accounts is your companion. So if you have Dude, I imagine your lab is already lit up. So just make sure some of the nodes are already lit up. Like the most important ones are going to be green stacking. If you have green stack resources, uh, mainframe bonuses are pretty are going to be pretty good that we're able to connect to everything. If you're missing money, the fungi finger pocketer for Gmush kill is going to give you a ton of money. Um, I think you only have like 10 mil kills, so it's not that much, but it does give you some more money. This is a multiplicative bonus. Yeah. And alternatively as well, uh, something you want to consider is trying to finish out your lab grind, trying to get this up to level 75. I'd recommend getting an overall account level of 1,000. The reason I say that is because of the Rift uh, gives you a bunch of bonuses because I believe you have 
you should have skill mastery unlocked, so you do get bonuses for lab. Um, you're missing it out on like 1% printer output and all skill XP. These are pretty good bonuses, so overall get your account up to 1,000. Uh, lab plus construction um, plus shit, what else? Sailing, gaming, like all those are pretty easy to get up to level 1,000. Gives you a ton of bonus of your account. So recommend trying to push that up to 1,000. You can just generally flesh out your account. So if you're struggling with levels in like mining, chopping, uh, getting lab up to 1,000 will make it a little bit easier because it gives you all skill EXP. Uh, also, a uh, little little tip, if you have uh, Divinity Pearls, you can max out cooking to level 500, which should give you, I believe, all skill efficiency. So you, you can use balloons on your characters till you're like level 20 or so, 25, 30, depending on how many balloons you have. You can use Divinity Pearls to level up to 50. Uh, it'll help you uh, reach that all skill efficiency cap so you can get just general all skill efficiency for all of your characters, whatever. Also, for catching, try to get to level 300. The catching cards being passive are really good. Same thing for fishing. Just passive cards are going to help with your efficiency, so you have to worry less about like your card layout or whatever. So if you're struggling with efficiency and those skills, getting it to 300 is going to help a ton. And generally for Rift, I, I want to say you should have enough damage to be able to push Rift to get Eldritch Artifacts. If you're not, again, your big focus is obviously going to be Stamps and Alchemy. Uh, but getting Eldritch Artifacts is going to be extremely important because Eldritch Artifacts are a huge bonus for your account. And I do want to talk about something you could be doing right now. We'll get to that when we talk about sailing. Uh, but Eldritch Artifacts are going to help you a ton with your account. And Divinity, uh, just try to unlock the rest of your gods. Um, if you have Dute, this is really big. It's going to give you a bunch of skill, uh, skill XP. The passive blessings that Cattle Crack and Bagger give you, I think, are yeah total damage and sailing speeds. So it'll help out a lot. So... Try to unlock these. Um, they'll give you some passive bonuses for your account. Yeah. Based off this, I don't think you have Duke. But, yeah. I mean, overall, you want to try to push Divinity level 40 so you can put everyone on Tranqui um, when you're not pushing Divinity level. So you can just kind of level them up in the background. Tranqui level 40 is where you unlock it. It's really important. <clears throat> okay. Now, sailing. Let's talk about sailing. This is really big. Sailing has a lot of bonuses. And, ooh, okay. Big, big thing you could be doing here is going to be unlocking Ancient Fosri Tusk. When you get to Eldritch Artifacts, like, stop what you're doing. Put every single boat you have right now on the first island to try to unlock um, Ancient Fosri Tusk. This will double the artifact find chances giving you. So you'll get... 56% more artifact find chance for just unlocking this. Um, once you get Eldritch, it'll give you an additional 56%. Obviously, it'll scale as you get more sailing levels, but it it is the most important early game upgrade you can get for sailing artifact find chance. Hard focus unlocking this. This is how you are able to more easily obtain uh, the upgrades for sailing. Uh, as well for sailing, uh, something people I've seen not really focus on is this is big here. So... You don't have golden hamters on your characters kind of spread out. You have it all on like what what two characters? So on your DK, try to farm golden food on uh, the crystal mobs to drop golden hamters and split them across all ten of your characters. This gives you a better chance of claiming sailing AFK time. Doing this, spreading it across all your characters, is going to massively increase or decrease the amount of time you spend on sailing. This will push you literally months ahead of time. It'll also save you months for. Uh, for sailing uh spreading this across all of your characters will massively increase the uh decrease the amount of time you spend on sailing um so yeah if you're struggling with sailing that's the like number one goal is to try to do that also additional tip for anyone that's in lab kind of actively doing nothing uh what you can do is go farm uh nightmare ephon to drop the uh the royal turban that royal turban actually gives you 15 percent gold food effect which increases the chance of claiming sailing afk time on your characters so if you're struggling with gold food effect that would help you get 15 percent more it would help you unlock or rather get, get more percent chance to unlock sailing time when you go back and collect time on that character so a little bit of a tidbit there but yeah try to un uh, get more golden hamsters, spread them across your characters it'll help you progress sailing by literal months <laughs> so absolutely do that Ooh, also where is it this box right here is also pretty good um the way this works, when you max it out at 800, it's like 5.33% of your AFK counts for sailing. It's not a 5.33% chance 
to get sailing AFK time and you collect your character, it straight up counts your time as sailing. So say you're gone for eight hours, it takes 5.33% of that and progresses it towards sailing. So um, eight times 60, so 480 minutes times 0 0.0533. So it adds 25 minutes to sailing. So it progresses sailing by 25 minutes if you're gone for eight hours on each character. So if you max out this box to 800, it's going to help you progress sailing as well. Uh, other thing in alchemy, you have the sailor at heart bubble unlocked. This is extremely important. If you equip this on all your characters, this additionally gives you more time, all right, more chance to claim sailing time. So you can progress sailing there even more. All three of those are really great ways you can push sailing. And I, I suspect once you do that, you'll skyrocket in progress for sailing, especially with summoning specifically, you have artifact find chance here. Uh, plus the lab nodes also giving you 1.5 times artifact find chance if you're able to light that up. That'll help you massively push sailing so that we don't have to worst, uh, waste so much time trying to unlock the rest of your relics. So focus on unlocking Fos Retusk. Um, then the next big one for you after that's going to be AD Tablet. After AD Tablet, skip everything else. Go to Fury Relic if you can. Uh, just be mindful of the time it takes for you to sail to the island. If it's taking you longer than two hours, if it's taking longer than like honestly four hours for Fury Relic, Probably go back, upgrade your boats, upgrade the speed, so we spend less time uh, worrying, uh, less time wasting about trying to wait for Fury Relic to get unlocked. Um, try to focus on artifact find chance or sailing speed right now. Sailing speed seems to be kind of your pitfall right now, so try to focus on that. You'll be able to push the uh, the relics relatively fast. Artifacts, relics, whatever. <clears throat> but yeah, your big push is going to be Rift in combination with unlocking Hamters, unlocking the PO box, as well as unlocking or upgrading Sailor at heart if you can. All, like, four of those are going to help you massively with sailing. And... I don't want to talk too much about the World 6 skills because I don't feel like this is something you should necessarily hard focus on. I think you have enough on your plate focusing on World 1, World 2 specifically, and sailing um that i don't want to focus too much on this but what i do want to focus on what i've been hinting at kind of for the rest uh, for like the entire time we've been speaking is your bubo so alchemy is kind of the end game for everyone in eidolon um your bubo is very under leveled and underappreciated i think you could stand a uh, you can get a lot out of your bubo by focusing on him and trying to get cranium cooking up and running so the big breakpoint for Bubo to where he becomes effective is going to be Tentacle. You have level, I believe, 191 max talents, so you're almost there. If not, I mean, I believe you're actually there where you're able to start cranium cooking like every 30, 40 minutes. This will massively reduce the amount of time you're waiting on Alchemy to progress. Bubo, when he's properly booked at level 200 for Tentacle, will save you months, years to decades of time in Alchemy, and I'm not, I'm not joking. The amount of time that cooking roadkill in combination with cranium cooking provides for pushing alchemy is massive. So I'd highly recommend trying to get this unlocked. Try to get um, try to get this to 200. I don't know what your max talent is right now, uh, but you have uh, level one of Fury Relic. You don't have checkout takeout. That's kind of sucks. <laughs> But you're also almost there for unlocking Oxygen, which gives you 10 max talent levels. Uh, the fact that your Cranium Cooking is level 191 gives me kind of hope that you're close to Tentacle level 200. Getting that to 200 will uh, make it so whenever you kill an enemy, you have a chance to reduce their attack cooldowns by 3 seconds, which impacts uh, Cranium Cooking. Getting that up to 200, uh, Tentacle up to 200 is the most important thing. It'll help you save so much time that we're able to reliably cranium cook every single day. Uh, it'll allow you to uh, get more uh, liquid in your like color cauldrons, your power cauldron, whatever, so you can push unlocking those bubbles. Um, right now, your hard focus should be either um, be kind of swapping between DK and statue farming and trying to push alchemy once your tentacles level 200. Trying to do that off cooldown every single day, um, like even like two, three, four times a day actively on your bubo is going to help you push alchemy, unlock the rest of your bubbles through world six, Help you push liquid generation through equinox i also haven't talked about your equinox but i mean it's a topic for another time um but it helps you a lot with alchemy and trying to push the bubbles that you're trying to do so that's i recommend trying to get your talents up to 200 if it's not already and tentacle level 200 is going to be a really massive breakpoint for you and i think you 
are almost there. If not, you are there. You're able to do that. So yeah, I try to focus on pushing up your talent level through Atom Collider, finishing the achievement in World 3, and also trying to unlock um, Oxygen in Atom Collider to try to get more max talent level if you aren't there already. But yeah, Bubo is going to help you a ton in pushing Alchemy, and that's going to be probably the best thing for you to focus on right now. Overall, it'll help your account, it'll help you with damage, it'll help you with your stats, it'll help you with your efficiency. And your efficiency is going to help you with Atom Collider. Atom Collider is going to help you with your Bubo. It's going to help you with your Alchemy, your stamps. Yeah, it all comes back to skilling is my my big takeaway for you right now is what you should be focusing on. So a lot to focus on. Um, a lot of things you could be focusing on. My best advice is going to be skilling for you right now. You're going to help juice out your Atom Collider. So hopefully that kind of helps give you some perspective. Um Again, it's kind of scatterbrained, so I apologize. I wonder if anyone's confused in chat. But yeah, skilling, skilling, skilling. That's my big takeaway for you. Use your books on skilling specific talents. Upgrade um, like the mage bubbles if you can for skilling specifically. That'll help you a ton with your characters and ho hopefully help you progress much more smoothly in the next coming weeks. Um, as always, if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out in the Discord. We're always available. Uh, pretty much anyone's available to help. I'll be also there kind of answering questions here and there. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it so much. Again, if you guys do want to join the Discord and the Twitch live, uh, Twitch stream whenever I go live, uh, link is in the description. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching. Have a great one. Hi, babe. Hi. How's it going? Good morning. Nothing? Live streaming? Anyway, I was casually talking to Nana about buying a house. Hold on.
All right, everyone, I have returned. I think we got some follows there. Per uh, parsley, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Ugh. Let me catch up on chat. Giggles, you're at 1.7 trillion Gmush kills. Hundreds of luck bubble upgrades. Are you able to hourly click thread? He's waiting for your birthday to release. Is your birthday on April Fools? You use sixteen hours of candy able to collect five hundred mil thread. It's not bad. What levels your um? Hammer, hammer, bubble. Ugh. 10,500. I'm almost there. <laughs> Yeah, don't don't talk about my prints right now. They're are they're very inoptimal for the time being. Zelb, are you even more of an endgame? Are you more endgame than Giggles? Are you uh are you farther along? I take that as a yes. This is the endgame. The name looks familiar to me. Are you on leaderboards? And Kim's afraid of Zelb. I'm assuming you mean um was it like in the main Eidolon channel? Was it like a achievement picks? Not anymore. I haven't uploaded in half a year. Well, after we get summoning update and I sample. <laughs> Out of curiosity, what's like your oak log sample right now? I want to I want to know how uh how endgame we're talking. I was saying I get it. If Zel if Giggles is praising you, then I have some perspective that you're super endgame. Like you're super cracked. Your base oak is 17 billion. Alright, that's all I need to know. Your account is crazy good. This man probably found a way to reduce his 3D print timer down to 30, 30 minutes. He's able to 30 minute click. Joking, of course. I don't think you can do that, but actually you can't do that. You guys want to hear something funny? Someone reached out to me on Discord individually and asked for an account review, which is fine. Nothing out of ordinary so far. Um, let me read off what he said to me. He said, I have a slightly modded account and I would love an IE review. Would you do it even though my account is modded? My DK has level 1500 fishing and catching. Yeah, it's not a mod. This guy's cheating. <laughs> Just a slight mod of... Hold on, I think he also said chopping, fishing, and uh, chopping, fishing, and catching a little 1,500. So I told him, I told him, if I do an account review and things look off, there's an ever so slight chance that Lava watches the video and your account gets shadow banned. <laughs> oh, 
Only fishing 90. Dang. <laughs> this guy's better than me. Zelb, do you have 1500? <laughs> Right, yeah, that's also the, that's also the thing. Like, if you're if you're, sorry, if you're modding, if you're modding your account, you don't need an account review, right? <laughs> Why play an idol? <laughs> Fifteen hundred con. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <sighs> Oops. Where the fuck am I? Oh, there they are. Yeah, I mean, there's no point. Like, I, I feel like... I feel like he's the type of guy to load up. I feel like he's the type of guy to buy Cookie Clicker on Steam and then import a save file from someone who's got all the achievements. Just so he can say he completed the game in under two hours. So he can refund it. Oh. Rest in peace to Zero Service. Uh, he said ass, and he got timed out for one second. I wish I could mod that. Since I don't blame you. Idle skilling is such a pain in the ass. Although, um, obviously, for uh, covering my ass, please don't mod. Uh, idle on or idle skilling uh, could result in you being shadow banned as it's against terms of service. I unironically mod all the mini <laughs> If you actually unironically do that, uh, don't post your IE name here because uh, very good chance you could get a uh, could get shadow banned. I asked my program if he, couldn't, if he couldn't help me make me a tool for them because they're so fed up after a month. Idle skilling account review when? Please no. Please no. Nothing trophy is better than I guess, yeah. Was it, is it AFK, skilling AFK gain rate or something? It's all AFK. It is master of nothing. Here it is. It is 10% all AFK gain. And you can trophy double that, right? So that's 20%. Yeah. <laughs> Tell your brother to hit me. I had a piece of tape with fishing power overlaid on my screen for a that's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> I haven't started with idle skilling. Is it worth it these days? Here's the thing. I say it is because Master of Nothing is so RNG gated or time gated that it's going to like the time it takes you to potentially get the Master of Nothing. It's, you're probably going to spend the same amount of time getting idle skilling trophy. Also, plus one slab. Don't forget that. It's plus one slab. Oops. And the IS hat. Yeah, yeah. Plus two slab. Just wail your way through idle skilling. Yeah, just drop like $300 on idle, idle skilling. You'll finish it in like a day. Kidding, don't do that, don't do that. How many beans do I get for trading in everything? Hundred and fifty seven? That's trash. Go to Discord if you're gonna help me through the TEs in like a day or two. Yeah. What I need here. I mean, probably Evo's pretty good. Should probably get that. Yeah. 
Anyways. So World 3 Dungeon Carry. I forgot about that. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to pass. <laughs> you have an achievement that's not registering. Uh, a few things you can do. Go on your first character. Um, cloud save. Restart your game. Double check the wording of it. I don't know. Huh. It's been a few months on scaling, gave up. Yeah. Over 13k ills a day. I think the hell let me hit it. Yeah. Cool. Well, um, I said I'd consider doing a second high year review, but I'm definitely not going to be doing a second high year review. I did say today was going to be a somewhat shorter stream, so I'm probably going to be ending here in about like five, ten minutes or so. Just FYI. So before you, anyone that does leave, uh, thanks for joining. Thanks for sticking by. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks, Xmail, for the follow. Appreciate it. But yeah, we're just chilling now. Just uh, letting my DK farm up. What's up, Giggles? How many more reviews until it's your turn? Uh, thanks, Zero Service, for the follow, by the way. Uh, I always forget your name, Giggles. What's your character name? What's your account name? Video finished. It's like... Hold on. Before I read, let me try to figure out what it is. Is it Bebip? No, it's not Bebip. OXZONI. I think it's OXZONI, right? No. Dragami. I'm so wrong. Oh yeah, that's right. You just wrote what next. Okay. Um First of all, Giggle, I will see you in like 3 months. Dude. <laughs> Um, currently you are 80 on the list. <clears throat> Here, just to show you I'm not capping. So there's so this this list right here was when I when it was hand tallying things. You had thirty backlog when I posted my IE. So seventy one on this sheet. So you are eighty four behind. Drunk, what's your uh, account name? <laughs> in six months. <laughs> Just the cats. Oh, you're not that bad. 18? Yeah, notice the dates on these. Like, <clears throat> how can you know mine? I, I can just look it up right now if you want. Monito, what's your account name? If you do three reviews a day, it would take nearly four weeks. ML4. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, you're better than <laughs> you're better than Giggles. 70, 77? Is that right? Thirteen plus sixty-four, seventy-seven. Yeah. <clears throat> Here's the thing. I'm only human. Who's at the bottom and is crying in pain? <laughs> uh, currently, it's Stealthy Stock. Hold on, let's see how many are actually on this list. 96 plus the 13. 109 people. How?
How are you not on the list, though? What's your account name, Gamer? Gamer Ben? Hold on. I saw Zirin ask. G E Q H O? You're near the bottom, whoever uh, Zirin is. Gamer Ben. Oh, you're right there. One day, chat. Yeah. Listen, I. Here's the thing. Um, I'm only human. My Dargo, you're also near the bottom. Um, here's the thing, guys. I'm only human. Um, first time seeing someone account review, my selective hearing heard just her do alchemy. I mean, yeah. They were relatively behind in alchemy. My prediction is he gets burnt out and doesn't get through 50. Listen. I've been going pretty strong and steady, all right? <laughs> uh, you're like 51, 52. Right. <clears throat> yeah, part of the reason I started putting the world names in there is so people could look up somewhat similar to their accounts, uh, what other people need help with. I mean, I hope by the time we get through half this list, people understand. Um, <clears throat> you're like 54, uh, Nightmare. But yeah, I, I hope by the time we get through like half of these, um, that people start to understand there's like a theme to Eidolon. There's like a meta to progressing the game and things you should be doing. So... Hopefully me putting out the reviews is is enough to help people out in progressing their account. Because, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, every account is different. Like, there's different things people should be focusing on. Right, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I, I eventually need to change the format. Because, obviously, go, going through, like, 100-plus reviews is unrealistic, right? Um, there needs to be a different system in place to selecting people, but I'm also, I mean, kind of the whole purpose and premise of me starting the YouTube channel and getting into the community is because I wanted to help people with their accounts, but I also didn't want to jump into the guide space because I feel like one that takes a lot of time more so than the eye reviews. Um, there's a lot that goes behind the scenes of making a guide versus just doing an IE review. Um, and I feel like I have enough general knowledge of the game to help people out and progress their account in general senses. I feel like you'll only repeat things I heard in other reviews. I mean, yeah. I mean, generally you'll hear me hear me hear me repeat things because that's kind of the idea of Eidolon. Um, I mean, it doesn't constantly shift and the meta doesn't change every single patch. So I mean, I'm going to be repeating things. That's the nature of it. Yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, I mean, obviously something needs to change over time as the channel progresses. Uh, I won't be able to sustainably do three reviews a day every single day for four weeks, like Giggles mentioned. That's not feasible for me. Because, I mean, I do work a full-time job and streaming. I also stream to try to push the channel. So, And it's also physically demanding to do reviews every single day. So I, I, I kind of burnt out hard in the first two weeks doing it like i got physically sick like i had a bad sore throat i wasn't able to talk for like a day just make a really good flow chart or something yeah if world one stamps if world two alchemy if world three don't fuck up refinery <laughs> If World 4, Ladle Stamp. If World 5, Golden Hamters, Sailing. If World 6... Yeah, if World 6... Yeah, if World 6, go back World 1 to World 5. <clears throat> Sorry. 
it's kind of what the auto reviewer yeah i mean part of the problem i have with the auto reviewer is it tells you things to do but it also doesn't direct you in how to do those things to be fair i also haven't used it in a while since i started doing the reviews i know it's changed format slightly get my data and pop it in there and see what it looks like now. Ah, come on. Doot acquired, sheepy pet acquired, auto loot purchased. Right. It's basically a Wikipedia, like you said. It's a good description of it. Here's my auto reviewer. <clears throat> I'm late world six. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, I don't have this at 10 mil yet or 10 mil already. Oh my god. Oh my god, it dropped under. My refinery is eating up. Ah, shoot. That reminds me. Just on the dot, that's 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to farm these potions right now. Yep. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It's roasting me for not having event cards. That's so sad. It's roasting me for not having Void Axe Dan. I don't have World 7 bubbles unlocked. Yeah, I mean, my main goal right now is just getting Eclipse Skulls World 5. Anyways. <clears throat> Alright, I think I've gone over my time here. I'll, um... I still don't know how to end streams, so, um... Thank you guys for watching, appreciate it. Uh, as always, if you guys do want to join the Discord, uh, you can type exclamation mark Discord in chat, and it'll link you to the Discord. I suppose you can uh, enter <coughs> the... Enter the, uh, whatchamacallit, fill out the form. <laughs> I'll get to your IE eventually. <laughs> but yeah, as always, um, if you guys do have any general questions, I am active in the idle chat. I, I do help you out there. So if you do have any questions generally about the game, I'll be able to help you. Um, I won't be able to give you specific account advice, but absolutely. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Give you guys a nice salute in chat. Have a good one. Actually, wait, I don't think I've ever raided one, set anyone Eidolon. I kind of wanted to do that. So let's see if we can raid someone in the uh, Eidolon uh, community <clears throat> if you guys are okay with a raid. Also, I've never raided before, so let's try to see how this works. Um, I see a bunch of people AFK. I mean, Eidol AFK.
Is this guy here? Who's this? You better back up. Uh, this guy's listening to rap music, all right? I think he's just mining gold. I think everyone's just actually AFK and not playing idle on. <laughs> Anyone have any suggestions who to raid? <laughs> Uh, you know, I used to be part of Frozen Flames, so I'll go ahead and raid Banana Monkey Taco. Yeah. And copy the name to make sure I type it right. I think that's how you raid. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.